So I hear that you want to go to Pace University and you're trying to find a video that's going to answer all the questions to everything that you have to ask for Pace University. Well, if that's the case, keep watching this video because I am your Pace University genie in a bottle. And I will tell you everything that you need to know for you to commit to this school, to come to the school, or you're just interested and you're trying to see what Pace University is all about. Keep watching this video. Okay, so before I get into the Q&A of Pace University, I am here with my friend Leona. Hey. This is actually her dorm. It's like such a vibe. I know. I love it. Um, yeah. Okay. Should be doing homework, but I'm filming a video instead because I love you guys so much. Okay. Um, first question was asking about like the Pace party scene and like the social life and like what it's like making friends and Can just they see like me talking in a bed. Hey guys. Do you get you get you y'all see that? Yeah. Hey. I think, yeah. It's, I'll just be on my laptop. Don't it's a chill me. vibe, yeah. She's just, she's doing her own thing. Girl stuff, you know? Yeah. This guy's blue, so, yeah, whatever. Um, yeah, so, party scene at Pace University. Um, I would say there's really, like, not a lot of, like, college parties that happen around here. Mostly it's, like, college, uh, mostly it's, like, parties that, like, companies host. And, like, they'll have a YouTube account. I mean, not a YouTube account. An Instagram account. And then people who go to Pace will, like, follow that account. And people who go to NYU, Columbia, all that stuff will follow that account. And then go to those parties that those Instagram accounts post. And usually they're, like, at clubs and stuff. And you have to, like, pay, like, $20 to go inside, which is, like, crazy. And they're, like, 18-plus parties. So those are, like, the most parties that, like you will have access to especially like first coming here and at first you're like oh my god that's so fun my first college party just take my advice i've been to like five of them with riona and they're just like they're so mid waste of money it's just like you're standing there like a sardine no one's dancing the music is always ass and it's just like it's not fun it's not fun i definitely regret going i mean don't get me wrong it was like a fun little college experience to have you know i made friends but overall it was a very it was a mid party it was just like really bad um but as for like college parties that like happen on campus um there are some dorms that like host parties sometimes but i'ma just like be real like unless if you're friends with somebody who's friends with someone who's throwing a party the chances of you finding out that that party is even happening are like very slim so in order for you to like want to go to dorm parties like be invited to dorm parties you just kind of have to like have the friends to do that friends who like know people who know people that are throwing parties me and my sweet personally have through like at least i would say maybe four parties in total and this is our second semester here freshman year so i've been here for like one semester so far um and every party we've thrown has been fun and usually like people that we didn't know like rolled in because they just like knew someone who knew about us um but that's kind of like how it is like at all at all like campuses like colleges i think I mean, I'm sure, like, if you went to a state school, there would be a lot more dorm parties and everyone would know about them because, you know, you actually run into people that you know when you're walking to your classes. But at Pace University, like, we're in New York. We're in the financial district, so we don't have a campus. All of our buildings are, like, spread across the city. And it is really fun. It's really cool. But, you know, you just have to be prepared if you're coming to Pace University that you're not going to run into people you know. You're always going to be seeing new people, like strangers who all live in New York City, New York City is a big place and a lot of people that you don't know are going to be roaming around your college area. So you just have to be prepared for that. But I mean, there's still like a lot of like opportunities to like have fun on campus, like in the dorms. But I'm just saying like the party dorm life, like ratio to like outside parties that you can find in New York City is very low. But also at the same time, you're in New York City. So there's a lot of parties happening all the time. You just got to know the right people, follow Instagram accounts and just like, ask around and just like keep on trying to make more friends and as for the making friends aspect people do tend to be very clingy and like keep to their own at pace so i would say when you first get here please try to make as many friends as you can obviously without overextending yourself but it's like just the easiest to make friends when you first come here because that's when everyone else is looking for friends and later on in the year they're going to start getting more clingy and only keep to themselves and stuff but like that doesn't mean you're not going to be able to make any more friends like your second year. Like, you will be able to. I'm just saying it's a lot easier to when you, like, first get to Pace. But also, if you follow, like, Instagram accounts, like, the Pace accounts that, like, post who's committed, who's going in the same grade that you are going in, making friends that way before you move in is also a very helpful thing that I did to make a lot of friends. But, yeah, I mean, it's just like every other college. Like, try to network with people before you come here. But also just, like, go to Welcome Week events, join clubs. um, Just, like 
go out when it's common hour like when you know that everyone else is mostly like out in the dining hall you know the hangout spots make sure you're there at that at those times so you can like meet more people i would say i stopped recording because like my storage is kind of being spastic right now and it's going in and out but as i was saying i would say i make at least like one new friend every week which is like a good amount for me so yeah don't stress about making friends you're gonna be fine as long as you're cool like me you'll be fine that was a joke but yeah um okay so Dating life is also another big thing that a lot of people were asking questions about. Like, what is the dating scene like? Hookup culture? Like, are there any reasonable people that you could date on campus? And I'm just going to answer that with one word. No. Okay, I have a personal bad experience with this, which is why I'm very biased. And I'm saying no. Like, it's impossible to find people at pace to date. But that wouldn't be entirely true because a lot of my friends have found people at pace that they have dated already broke up with and started dating someone else or are still dating them or they're just like you know going through hookup culture so i'll definitely say hookup culture is still very big at pace university even though you're not like going to college in like california pace university does still have a very big hookup culture and i'm just gonna say if you want to get tinder at pace everyone at pace and their mom is on tinder so you're going to be seeing people that you have classes with on tinder and it's so awkward i don't have tinder never never had it never will have it but my friends have tinder and then we'll like i'll like look at their thing for fun while they're swiping and i'm like oh my god i know every person that's on this thing because everyone and their mom at pace has tinder so um yeah if you if you want to have a relationship like I mean, don't stress about it. I'm sure if it'll happen, like, it'll happen. But, like, don't try to force one because I've also had friends that have tried to force one, like me too, and it ended up bad. So I'm just going to leave it at that. You'll you'll see. Everyone, like, to each their own. Everyone has their own experience. Um, but also be aware that there is a very big ratio of, like, gay people at Pace, which I'm not saying there's, like, anything wrong with that. Like, I love it. But I'm just saying, like, if you are, like, a girl trying to find like a straight guy it's very rare like there's not a lot of straight guys here at pace um yeah but there's a lot of girls and stuff and like gay guys so yeah there are some straight guys at pace but it's very it's, it's very rare it's very slim okay anyways um uh food okay a lot of people were also asking questions about like the dining hall um i'm just gonna say like the dining hall that everyone made tiktoks about was the old dining hall like the old one at the pace building there's a new dining hall now so the food is completely different we've only ate at that old dining hall for probably like i would say like five weeks like maybe a month and then they like no maybe like two months and then they switched it over to the new one and the new one is completely different the menu has changed now there's like a mexican taqueria place there's like a whole chinese food place like there's a lot of different changes that the dining hall has made it's a lot more modern now so i mean again i'm just gonna keep on like having to refilm whenever it like comes out but um yeah as i was saying like i ugh, there's like not a lot of evidence backing this because i don't think anyone that exists has made a video on the new pace dining hall food besides on the pace 2027 snapchat story which is different um anyways uh so i would say like the dining hall is okay I mean, it's not awful. It's definitely a lot better, in my opinion, than the old dining hall because now there's, like, a lot more food options. And Taqueria just opened literally, like, two weeks ago. And I've been eating it every single day. It's basically a Mexican place. It's, like, Chipotle, and it's freaking amazing. Um, There's, like, a market at Pace where you can, like, use your dining points to, like, swipe. I will say the whole meal swipe dining point flex dollar system is very confusing when you first get to Pace. Basically, flex dollars you could, like, use to, like, get Chipotle and Chick-fil-A and stuff, but it, you only get, like, 30 when you start the year, it, like, for the whole semester, and that's it. And then dining points, you could get, like, stuff from the market, you could get, like, Starbucks and stuff from dining points. Um, and then meal swipes, you have, like, 10 new meal swipes every week, and you get, like, a full meal, like, from the dining hall. So, yeah, I mean, it's kind of confusing, but once you get here, you'll get the hang of it um i mean the food it's it's good i mean it's it's like good for college i would say it's 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 a lot better than it was i do eat out a lot and i need to like work on that but i mean it's not like the worst like i haven't found any hairs or like raw actually i have found raw food before that was mo mainly last semester this semester has been good so far though um but yeah i would say to each their own with that as well for me like i would rate it probably like a six out of ten as for like how good the food is but 
I'm surviving and that's all that matters. Um, anyways, uh, majors and location. So yes, Pace University is located right in the financial district, literally right next to the Brooklyn Bridge. You literally see the Brooklyn Bridge from 33 Beekman, which is one of the freshman dorms or well not freshman dorms, one of the dorms in general, you see the Brooklyn Bridge literally straight. Like my friends who live in 33 have a view of the Brooklyn Bridge and it's like kind of insane. Um, so we're like right next to the Brooklyn Bridge, which is why it's so expensive. The tuition is out the wazoo. Like we're not on Wall Street, we're in the financial district, yes, but like it's so much money. Um, we're also like right in front of City Hall. Like literally we're right in front of City Hall. It's kind of crazy. Um, we're next to Seaport. Like, we're in a pretty good location. You have Joe's Pizza's right here. That's, like, a- that's a- that's a classic. That's a spot. Um, as for, like, majors, I am majoring in acting FTBC, which Chris Briney also ma majored in, if you- if you didn't know. Um, and it's basically, like, BFA in acting for film, TV, voiceover, commercials. Um, an acting major. I had to do auditions and everything, and I already have a video up on, like, how I got into that. So you can, like, watch that if you're interested into that kind of stuff. Um, but if you're going to go to Pace, I would say the best major to do at Pace would probably be a performing arts major. But obviously I'm biased because I'm in performing arts. But it's just for the location. Like, we're right where Broadway is. We're right where all the film industry, like, stuff is. So there's so many opportunities for, like, actors and dancers and, like, musical theater kids and just performers here to, like, get opportunities and get jobs and network with people. So I would say... Having a performing arts major is definitely like the smartest route to go if you want to go to Pace. Um, it's literally a new program and it's like starting to get the recognition it deserves. Um, but if you want to be like a finance bro or like a business major, I'm just going to say like, you, you don't have to come to Pace for that. Like there's so many other colleges that like do that better than Pace does. Like I'm just going to say, I feel like Pace should be conservatory because, okay, no hate to the regular students that are going to pace but i'm just gonna say the other students that are not ppa like their courses are just so high school and so mid to me like i feel like you could be going to like stanford if you want to major in law like why would you come to pace university for that like no it's just i don't know teach their own um but yeah i mean uh that was like basically the main stuff like the social life the party life the academic life which major i think is best um, and now I guess I'll talk a little bit about my personal experience at Pace to, like, help you guys choose if you want to come to Pace or not. Um, I will say it has been hard for me to, like, find, like, boys and stuff and, like, get into that, like, whole dating pool, um, that I expected to get into when I went to college. But a lot of my friends have had luck in that. It's just I personally haven't. So I would say, like, if you're coming to Pace and you're expecting to, like, find a boyfriend or like get into a relationship like change that mindset i'm not gonna say it's not gonna happen but like just don't make that your whole like personality don't try too hard because when you force something it's just gonna end up bad in the end for so for me personally i don't try to force that kind of stuff and like um as for like major in academics i'm majoring in ftvc and i love all my classes i literally have like a teacher from the uk like the courses that we're learning like all of our classwork, we have to, like, watch movies for classwork and, like, do scenes. I have to memorize a scene, like, right now, which I should be doing. But, yeah, like, it's fun homework. I love being an actor. So, um, I've been having a really fun, like, time here academically. Like, I love all my classes and my teachers. I got straight A's last semester. It was great. I'm also in the honors college. So, yeah, that that's another thing. If you, yeah, like, honors college. So, I'm in honors and an FTBC. Um yeah i also just joined a sorority so now i'm part of greek life if you want a video on in depth about like pace university like greek life then let me know i can make a video on that too but also just so you know if you want to join greek life and you want to go to pace but you're like no i can't do both yes you can i thought the same thing but pace university indeed does have sorority and fraternity life so if you want to join the greek life like they have it and i love everything that they have about it it's fun so you should definitely try getting into it if you're into that kind of stuff um but yeah, I mean, I love the new freshman dorm. I'm in 15 Beekman in the suite of 10 people. It's definitely been a very, very unique college experience, I would say. Like, it's definitely not been your typical, like, UCLA college experience or whatever. Like, it's very different from the regular college experience. But that's what I love about it. Like, I'm in New York City, so I'm always able to just, like, go to Seaport or, like, go to Times Square whenever I want. And I love meeting new people. And that's one of the things that you will be getting and benefiting from if you go to Pace. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'd rate my overall experience so far at Pace probably like 
uh, 8 out of 10. It's been really fun so far, and I'm super excited for these next three years, or four years, I guess. Um, yeah, I mean, I hope I answered all your questions. I kind of, like, rambled a little bit. Like, I wanted to be a little bit more structured, but you guys get the gist. If you have any, like, specific questions that you really want to be answered, then just, like, feel free to, like, comment those down below. But I hope you like this video. Make sure you check out my other Peace University videos that I have already posted. I have a week in my life, a moving vlog, um, how I got into Pace vlog, an orientation vlog, and yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all I have on Pace. Um, but yeah, I mean, happy decision day if it's like decision day for you guys. Happy acceptance day. Hopefully you choose to come to Pace because of this video. Definitely like let them know so that they could give me a scholarship for it. Um, but yeah, um, I'm gonna end the video because I gotta do my homework. But love you guys. Bye.